everyone uh, let us go ahead and solve to today's question for cvt try to read this question try to do it yourself first so it says following are given all p r q no q is r so all p r q thoda sochte hain um can we say when we say all p r q we need to either you can just directly uh, kind of go ahead and solve this or what you can do is you can also think of statements that follow this thing right so i can go ahead and say that if i have if i have this as p whatever is p is definitely q this is what it is saying all p are q so whatever is p is definitely q other way around i don't know so whatever is p whatever is p is definitely q like for example i can say all delights are indians suppose i say this but not all indians will will be living in delhi right so not all indians will be delights Are you getting it? So all P is Q. This is Delhi. This is India. Okay. All P R Q. This is the first statement. Then it says no Q is R. So no Q is R. That means R is separate. Just say for example, if I have this, then I can say no Indian is Australian. Maybe something like this. Indians are separate, now. Australian are separate. So no Q is R. This is what it says. From this, what can we infer? Some P R R. No, no, no. If delights are Indians, they cannot be Australian. So this is incorrect. So taking an example will help you in such questions. So this is incorrect. No P is R. Absolutely correct because P R Q. Delights are Indian, so they cannot be Australian. So this is correct. This is correct. All P are correct. Uh, are are incorrect. None of them incorrect. So the answer to this question is B. Now I give you a question for practice, and you have to comment below and tell me the answer to it. Okay. So I am giving you some P R Q, and I am saying. No R is Q. Some P R Q. No R is Q. What can you infer? First, some P R R B. No P is R C. All P R R D. None. Comment below. Tell me the answer. Nobody is going to skip answering the question. Okay. Okay thank you everyone